A 16-year-old girl is speaking out after she says that she was sexually assaulted on a United Airlines flight. The teenager was flying from Seattle to Newark back in July, and she and her mother have asked us to protect their identities, and we've done that. Anna Warner talked to them in an interview you will see only on CBS This Morning. Anna's at the Seattle Tacoma Airport. Anna, good morning. Well, good morning. This was a big trip for that high schooler. She had won admission to a prestigious Young Women's Leadership Academy at Princeton University. But she says her red-eye flight on United Airlines soon took a traumatic turn. I knew what was going on, but like I just, I just thought I was dreaming or something like this cannot really be happening. The 16-year-old girl was traveling alone from Seattle, sleeping on her overnight United flight to Newark, when she says she awoke to find the stranger sitting next to her, touching her. I could feel his hand on my thigh, and one of his hands had like came between my legs and he was like rubbing me between my legs and then he tried to put his other hand like underneath my pants and then I kind of woke up and I was like what are you doing? She reported it to a flight attendant who moved her to another seat a few rows up but says she was terrified. But I just felt like he could see me like he could see wherever I was sitting. And why did that terrify you? Because there was just still so much time like I couldn't just leave the plane I didn't have anyone. I didn't feel like there was anyone on the plane that could protect me. And when the plane parked at the gate in Newark, the teenager says everyone simply walked off, including the man she says sexually assaulted her. I literally thought I was going to die. This is the 16-year-old's mother. You thought you were going to die. I'm 3,000 miles away. My child says she's been sexually assaulted, and I'm asking her questions, and she's like disoriented. I'm like, well, where is he? Do you see him? And she said, he just walked by me. And I said, get the police, get United. But her mother says when she finally got a United terminal supervisor on the phone. At that point, the supervisor told me that United did not follow their own protocols. She said, you are the first person telling me of your daughter's assault. I don't have a manifest. I don't have a report. I don't even know who he is or where he is. Later that day, police and the FBI, which handles incidents in the air, did track down a passenger and arrest him. Vijay Kumar Krishnapa, a visiting doctor on a fellowship, according to one medical center, is charged with one count of abusive sexual contact on an airplane. His attorney says Krishnapa adamantly denies the charges and deserves to be considered an innocent man. United did not answer CBS's questions in including about its protocol for reporting sexual assaults. Instead, saying in a statement, we take these allegations seriously and are working with the authorities. But family attorney Mark Lamber faults United. The FBI wasn't waiting when the plane landed. So the perpetrator, the, the, the man who engaged in sexual assault, walked off the plane with a free pass. The FBI reports in 2016 it conducted 57 investigations into sexual assaults on airplanes, up from 40 in 2015. It's a statistic this My mother daughter, never knew. If I had any inclination that she could be assaulted, I never would have put my daughter on that flight. I would have flown with her. You said that he took something from you. What did he take from you, do you think? He had no right to touch me. He had no right. I guess I would say he took my peace of mind. You don't feel safe? No, I don't feel safe. And Krishnapa is currently out on bail. If convicted, he could face two years in prison, a $250,000 fine, and possibly be deported. Now, the FAA says that airlines regularly do summon law enforcement to meet a plane in the incident of an alleged crime such as this one. But it certainly appears in this case, Nora, that that may not have happened. All right. Wow, Anna, thank you, thank Anna. You. you certainly feel the daughter's pain and the mother's pain. And you, it does make you wonder, somebody dropped the ball there. Why wasn't there an authority figure there, too? Yeah. Stop this man and talk to him. Really disturbing. Hope they get this right. Yeah, and, and the sense of what it means to people who feel like they've been invaded. That's right. Yeah. The investigation continues.